so a little change in scenery that is because i'm currently in bali indonesia so i kind of really didn't want to do like a whole um like vlog about like my experience for australia the past two weeks because half of it i was um in a whole other country like not really like doing my study abroad in the country that i'm studying abroad in so um i guess this is kind of more like tips on how to travel well abroad and like for me like when i originally picked australia it's because like my goal is to go to every continent um well except for antarctica so i just thought you know if i go to australia and then visit an asian country then um once i get back home the only continent that i have left to visit is south america so and then just narrowing that down we picked indonesia and going to bali and so that's been really fun so like as far as like doing that australia is very isolated so we had to pick a flight and just because we didn't like plan this whole trip out none of us really knew each none of us knew each other before we came here so um before like picking the flight of course it's gonna be more expensive we can do it like last minute so we kind of put like a couple weeks before but in order to do like seamless as possible the best like apps to use is google flights or um okay google flights fly hopper um kayak all those like sites you like just like look at sites that are like known for like just seeing what location you want to go to and then like getting like the cheapest option out of it like based on like the time that you want to go um of course round trips can be cheaper than one way um and some like if you're just staying a long time so they won't even like let you buy a one-way ticket or something like that because i don't know whatever um but yeah and then we kind of just like looked at different airbnbs around and then like how many people were going and then from there we're just like what's the cheapest one what's like what you guys really really want what is it that you guys really, really need where do we want to be well that was like really like number one is like what location are we gonna be at and then from there we kind of like looked at um like things to do we're like well when, once we get here like what's something you always want to do so like one girl was like elephants and then we're like we always want to like go to this temple and stuff like that so that's how we kind of like narrowed down and from there we got a driver and the driver was good because it was only 50 usd 60 usd and then like 35 but that's like total for all of us so there's five of us now and it's like 10 each and we got to go all around the island and you just work the whole day you keep all your stuff in the car and stuff like that so you're not carrying anything really really great experience for that um but yeah so as a person studying abroad and traveling i would just definitely suggest like make sure that your flight is the um or your travel is like the most expensive thing me personally that's how i always do like i'll go if i have a place to stay and that's normally like how i travel because like what if i get there that's gonna be the most expensive thing um and i'll kind of like live within my means from there but it's kind of um interesting to kind of like see like a new culture without like completely like moving here you know like seeing it and then i kind of like seeing like what i like about it and everything like that and like if it matched up to like what I immediately or what I originally like thought so that's what I really love like traveling and stuff like that is kind of like you just meet new people you learn new cultures you experience them but then like I feel like this is like um it was like cool to kind of see like Indonesian like Asia and stuff like that because I've never experienced that before so um yeah tips for traveling abroad um <laughs> like okay so i was gonna go into like packing and stuff like that like keep in mind it depends on like how long you go but like you don't need as much as you really think you do like for us even like sitting abroad for four and a half months they said pack two weeks worth of clothes and then for us like traveling like it just it just only bring a carry on like an overhead like you don't need that much for like a week or two weeks like it's either you can wash stuff or 
you're gonna want to buy stuff anyway but like try to limit as much buying as you can but then also just like realistically if you know yourself that much <laughs> I don't want to do it. no malish <laughs> so um pack a lot of clothes that you can mix and match so even if you have like the wear the same sh shorts or something like that or the same shirt like it's just different outfits stuff like that so you can do that as well and research the country before you like go to it because a lot of times there's like etiquette like there's we don't walk at night in certain areas or you you don't visit this i don't know but like just for the locals and stuff like that it's going to be common sense and it's like you already stick out as a tourist so it's like it's almost just respectful for you to just know what you're getting into it doesn't make sense for you to just like go in and basically make your own rules because you're a tourist like this very ignorant way of thinking so um just make sure you're just well knowledge of like where you're going and like the food and stuff like that that's like there or like maybe even it'd be like nice even if you like knew a couple words like how to say hello or like how to say thank you or something like that or like depending on where you're going just like basic knowledge so that you're just not there being like oh like i'm a tourist please help me like that's really like not the best way to go um and yeah just basically just like live life have fun make an itinerary because like i'm a very spontaneous person but like having a slight itinerary just to get us like started since being here has been so much better and like so much more like fun where we kind of like uh what do we know what to do or like what are we gonna do today we'll have like three like main things that we're gonna do and then from there we're like oh well, we're close to this place can we stop by here or we'll do this and so it's like kind of like spontaneous but we still like are doing something every single day so i really like um that part of like planning a trip because like it's one thing if you're like going to grandma's house or something you don't know what you're gonna do but then like going to a whole other country it's like you want to take advantage of the location you're at because you don't get to see it every single day so just like make sure that you learn actually like learn the culture that you're in and then like you're actually like enjoying it too so um yeah i guess it was like more just like traveling abroad i don't really have like study abroad um advice this time because it's like i don't i kind of finished my course for day term and i don't start classes until like tomorrow so yeah <laughs>